Utah is suing to get more control of more than 18 million acres of land currently managed by the federal government. State leaders say it's about taking care of our natural resources. But critics say this issue has already been settled long, long ago. New specialist Daniel Woodruff now with the story. The governor and others say this isn't about national parks, national monuments, or national forests. They say it's about federal land that's just sitting there with no plan in sight. It is time that we stand for our land. Governor Spencer Cox says too much of that land inside Utah is federally controlled. Utah does not have the ability to manage over two-thirds of our state. So the state is asking the U.S. Supreme Court to weigh in and say whether the federal government can hold land without any specific purpose indefinitely. Public lands need to stay in public hands, and those hands belong to Utahns. This is going to be a very difficult claim. University of Utah law professor John Rupel says the U.S. Constitution gives Congress power to control federal land. Plus, when it became a state, Utah specifically gave up any right or claim to federal public lands. The court's under no obligation to take this case up. Multiple groups are blasting the state of Utah for filing the claim. The Center for Western Priorities saying, quote, Governor Cox and the state legislature need to make a U-turn before they waste millions of taxpayer dollars enriching out-of-state lawyers on this pointless lawsuit. But leaders like Senate President Stuart Adams say this issue has been decades in the making and the time to decide it is now. The primary caregiver should be the state of Utah, supported by the federal government, not the other way around. The governor says he doesn't know yet if other states will join Utah's lawsuit. Daniel Woodruff, KSL 5 News.